This tangerine tree. A lot of my natives and locals are getting lively. This one's my pawpaw tree. Here's the persimmon tree. Pretty tall. This is another persimmon tree, a little shorter. More persimmon. These are Perella. Perella. Very popular green, especially with Korean pork. Here's some of my elderberries. These elderberries are for sale. You put it in your garden. They need a new home. Look at that. They're coming out of the bottom. Find a new home for these. They're for sale. Elderberry. This one here is golden currant. And my golden currant bush. And more pawpaw trees. There's another persimmon, apple tree. Persimmon, sequoia. A whole bunch more moringas waiting to germinate. This one here, saw palmetto. Here's my mother elderberry. The blueberry bush is flowering. I'm gonna need to get a net. So the birds don't eat all the blueberries. This is one of three of my Osage orange trees. Now the Osage orange, the fruit is not edible. I read somewhere that the coating of the seed, which is rather gelatinous, is edible. But this is a temperate citrus tree, deciduous, and it does, if you can see that, it's very thorny, but it isn't the fruits. I'm growing Osage orange for. I have three Osage orange trees like this, and all three of them were cloned from the biggest Osage orange tree in the Commonwealth of Virginia. You can look it up. These are clones of that tree. This one here is a wild persimmon. It just volunteered. I didn't plant it. It was like that when I got here. Wild persimmon. And this one is aronia berry. And it's starting to flower. Aronia berry flower. Also, this bed is home to a mimosa tree, which I have sold in a pot. I grow them, sell them in pots, and people do ask for them because they're very pretty trees, but they don't sell them at the nursery like a decorative ornamental. Mimosa is found around the world, also called albizia, and is known to be a pineal gland decalcifier. And I've used the bark with grinding it into fines and then making tea. And the taste is quite pleasant. It's nice. And mulberry grows like a weed around here. So this is a bit of a weed tree, but I'll let it do.